Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystals. So today's unboxing video and taste test is of the Hotel Chocolat, the Inventing Room subscription box. So if you're new to this box and you haven't watched me unbox it before, it's a relatively new subscription that Hotel Chocolat started back in October of 2020. And essentially it is £30 a month, including free delivery in the UK. And for that, you get a box full of surprises every month. And all the items in the box are items they're testing out on their customers, the guys that are subscribed to this subscription box, before they decide whether or not to launch them into their stores. So in the inventing room, where they invent all the chocolates for Hotel Chocolat, the people that work there all sit around, have a weekly meeting and vote on the chocolates that the designers have come up with to decide which ones get to go in store, which ones don't. So what they've done is they've added an extra layer to that with this subscription in that you get sent all your items in a box like this. And these are not items you can get in the shop but you get to try them all and then you get to go online and kind of vote for the chocolates you do like and you don't like and then through the customer feedback they decide which products they're going to launch in the shops going forward so the kind of selling point for this box is the fact that you're getting to try things other people aren't and you're getting to try chocolate that potentially won't end up in the shops and therefore only a limited number of people get to try so that's kind of the selling point so i have seen from some of the comments i've had on this video previously and it's a very, very valid point that essentially people, customers, are paying £30 like I am to buy this box and essentially they're doing almost free um, focus groups, I suppose, um, testing out the chocolates for them and paying for the privilege, which does seem a bit weird when you think about it. In terms of the subscription, so far I have really enjoyed it. Like I said, I've had it every month since it launched and I look forward to the, sub the surprise of not knowing what's in here. Of course, the downside of that, I have had a number of chocolates where I haven't really liked them and I've then given them to friends or family, which is fine, I'm sure they like that. But it is a little bit of a shame because £30 is a lot for a box of chocolate that you might not like. So it's one of those, you've kind of got to decide whether this is something for you, as you have with any subscription. So you always get a little letter here. This, like I said, is the January 2021 box. So there's a little note from Angus Thurwell, who was one of the co-founders of Hotel Chocolat. Um, it tells you all about how you can create a winning chocolate because they have competitions running where customers can design chocolates and if they're picked their design is made into chocolate. It also talks about um, the scores that people have previously given in the box and it tells us here that the first ones confirmed for development that have been tested in previous boxes are the cocoa hazelnut biscuit which was very very nice and the raspberry and pistachio bakewell which if i remember i liked although i'm not sure it was like the best one ever but they're the first two that they're going to make um going forwards in 2021 and it says so far since launching it they've showcased 28 new and exclusive recipes and it says that the feedback helps the co-founder Angus and the innovation team debate and decide their fate. As part of the subscription as well, they do have online kind of groups where one or two of the people that work in the inventing room will be on the online call with the customers and you get to do a test, a sort of taste test together, which is a really fun element and kind of give you feedback live on the video and chat to them and suggest things and ask some questions. And it's a great experience. The only thing is, it's totally random about whether you get to attend. So I've managed to attend two so far, which I really enjoyed, um, which was October, November. Didn't manage to attend December's one because like I said, it's totally random whether you get a place or not. And actually, having not attended December's, it kind of devalues the box for me. I understand they've obviously got so many places and they've not got enough places for the number of customers, but I'm paying £30 for a box and not having that experience I didn't enjoy last month's box as much. It was almost like that experience kind of made it worth paying the money. Without it, it wasn't really worth it. That's just my feedback, but I'm opening this month's box and I'm feeling a little less excited about the subscription now. So we'll see how it goes going forward, whether I'll continue with this subscription or not. As usual on the channel, I just want to give you my honest opinions. Like I said, I bought this myself. This is all my own opinion and 
personally as a customer that's just how I felt um, I just didn't enjoy last month's box as much because I just wasn't part of that experience um, so we'll see how we get on going forward but this month's message happy new year there's so much to look forward to in the inventing room in 2021 we plan to be tingling your taste buds throughout the year and it says that the celebrating veganuary in this month's box with the vegan friendly peanut butter and jelly nut milk We've conjured up a new soft hazelnut spread and reinvented another classic cocktail in chocolate. And that's one thing, I don't like alcoholic chocolates, so they're just like a thumbs down from me straight away, I don't like them. So there's obviously chocolates in here that you potentially just aren't going to like. Um, I won't read any more of that actually because it's given away more of what's in here. But essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up every pack. I'm going to show you every chocolate that comes in this month's box and I'm going to do a bit of a taste test, let you know what I think. So you always get a filled selection like this. So this is a box of four different chocolates. You get two of each. Then this month we've got a bag, two little items. And like I said, you'll see these in detail when I open them up. We've got a tub of a spread and a big bag of something else. On here it also tells us a little bit about they're excited about what's going to come up later in the year. It also tells us what's coming in next month's box which is it says next month we will feature an exceedingly good chocolate with provenance in Derbyshire. For everyone with a sweeter tooth Kiri has created a crunchy peanut masterpiece for your delectation and get ready for a three-way taste off. They did just, they just taste off last month when we tasted the difference between old milk chocolate and new milk chocolate to decide what was better. So that's quite interesting. There is also um, videos online of each of the chocolates and whichever person came up with it talking about how they came up with it, why they came up with it, etc. And it also explains chocolate speak about enrobing and panning and how that all works. And obviously it explains every chocolate in detail with a little, little illustration and I will show you that as we go along. You always get a list as well with um, details of the ingredients so you can check if there's allergens in there or things you might be allergic or sensitive to and it also tells you things like your portion sizes, how many calories are in it and all that kind of stuff. So let's go and do a bit of a taste test. So we will start off with our breakfast martini. So this has got a kind of a super light, almost mousse texture filling. It's called the Breakfast Martini. And it says, inspired by a trip to New York with her mum, Kiri wanted to recreate this super cocktail. Does it meet our standard? I'm not a big fan of alcohol in chocolate. And especially with Hotel Chocolat, they really tend to pack the booze in. But actually the balance of flavours in this is rather nice. And if you like a martini, I think you would like the way they've kind of paired it with this chocolate. Then we've got a Columbia Origin Milk Ganache. And I like the way they've kind of stenciled on that R for Rabot. Oh, it's kind of softer than I was expecting. I just, I can actually peel this back and show you the inside. So you can see that super kind of soft ganache there. Pure cream ganache shows off the complex flavour notes of this single origin curvature. Do you think it's creamy enough? Oh, it is very, very creamy. And if you like a dark chocolate and the creamy taste together, you will like this one. Next up, we have got a macaroon. And this is the classic macaroon and it says improved classic macaroon. As usual with the macaroons, it is a chocolate disc on top, the kind of mousse pumped on the inside and then another chocolate disc. And this is what they look like on the inside. And it says we've tried making our classic praline macaroon filling even more indulgent and paired it with 43% milk to be less sweet and more creamy. Does it deliver a meltingly good praline? Oh my, yes it does. Even better than the original for sure. So tasty. And then finally from this box, this is the nut milk peanut butter and jelly. We were excited to discover that our raspberry compote just happens to be vegan. So Rona's rustled up a vegan version of Kiri's peanut butter and jelly chock. Has it got the right balance of salted peanut and jammy raspberry to conjure up the classic sandwich? 
I have actually tried the peanut butter and jelly chocolates. The peanut butter and jelly chocolates were actually featured on the recent TV show. So what they've got is this kind of jammy compote layer in there, the peanut butter there, and then the nut milk is the vegan chocolate that Hotel Chocolat do. That might actually be better than the original peanut butter and jelly. That chocolate really does work with it. And then we have got pack B, which is the Habanero Chili Dark Nibs. They included these nibs in one of the other Hotel Chocolat inventing room boxes, and they're essentially a cacao shell enrobed in chocolate, dark chocolate. They're described, it says here, kick of happiness. Angus loves enrobed cocoa nibs for the big dose of mood lifting theobromine they bring. We added some chilli to these for an extra boost. Try a teaspoon sprinkled onto your morning porridge for a new way to get that hit. Do they make you smile? I'll tell you what, these are tiny, but they don't half pack a hit when you taste them. You definitely get that chilli bit coming through at the end. So if you don't like the heat, you're not going to like these. If you do, you'll probably love them. Pack C is one of the pillow biscuits. This one is raspberry. Our love of biscuits knows no bounds. We've been exploring new flavours for our pillow biscuit range, and this one is a fruity wee number we threw together, says Rona. Do you like the contrast between the 50% milk shell and the raspberry white filling? Is it fruity enough for you? Oh, always some serious crunch. Oh, look, you can actually see that raspberry there in the filling. And the biscuit, of course, on the bottom is the same as the other pillow biscuits. Mmm. Oh, that is good. Mmm. Now that is amazing. I would definitely buy these biscuits. This is the best filling they've ever done. It is so raspberry. Mmm. That is seriously tasty. If you've ever tasted Hotel Chocolat's white and raspberry combos, it tastes just like that in a biscuit. Oh, so good. And pack D is the extra hazelnut spread. We tried making this hazelnut and chocolate spread really soft and spreadable, but also less sweet with an extra generous hit of pure hazelnut, plus a dash of salt to bring out its savoury roasted notes. Does it all come together? So I've actually prepared this on a slice of toast because that just seems like the best way to eat it. And it tastes like a kind of really posh Nutella, but it still doesn't spread quite as well as Nutella, but it does spread a lot better than the previous spread that we got in one of the other inventing room boxes. This one is much, much tastier. Definitely could see myself buying this. It's divine. So pack E is the bread and butter pudding sultanas. So these are just a kind of chocolate covered sultana. It actually does taste of bread and butter pudding. We panned Turkish sultanas in white chocolate blended with almond paste, custard and nutmeg and you really get the nutmeg to create a bread and butter pudding flavour experience. Did we get it right? Yeah it tastes like bread and butter pudding. Definitely got a real kind of spice coming through with that nutmeg. Very interesting, very very different. So a recap of what came in the January 2021 inventing room box. Pack A included the breakfast martini, two of those. The Columbia origin milk ganache, two of those. The improved classic macaroon, two of those. And the nut milk PB&J, two of those. Pack B is the habanero chili dark nibs. For pack C, we got two individually wrapped biscuits, the raspberry pillow biscuits. These are my standout favourite from this month's box. Pack D was the rather tasty extra hazelnut spread. Like I said, it tastes like a really kind of posh, fancy Nutella. Not as sweet as Nutella, you can just taste the really good kind of quality chocolate and the hazelnut taste in there. And then pack E, the bread and butter pudding sultanas. So that was the Hotel Chocolat, the inventing room for January 2021. Let me know in the comments what you think of this one's box and if any of the chocolates appeal to you or if you're a member or you're thinking of becoming a member. I'll link at the end of this video some of my previous Hotel Chocolat videos if you want to see what came in previous month's boxes. I've also done a video of Hotel Chocolat's Velvetizer and a few other things like the advent calendars and stuff. So there's all kinds of stuff 
if you're into hotel chocolat on the channel so i'd love it if you'd subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live and i'd love it if you give this video a thumbs up it lets me know you're enjoying the content i'm producing thank you so much for watching bye guys